Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for February 3rd, 2020. Hey, everyone, let's grab something to drink. Let's settle into our comfy chairs and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the morning market prep video. So what happened over the weekend? Well, over the weekend, we had a lot more virus infections popping up. In fact, the number this morning is over 17,200, 361 people have died from the virus. And the um, Shanghai Composite reopened for trading last night. The uh, Chinese government injected $1.3 trillion um, into the economy, which obviously helped things uh, tremendously, but that didn't um, prevent um, the Chinese composite from falling 7% um, by the close last night. As a matter of fact, one point in the night, they were down a full 9%. So certainly experiencing the impacts there. Some Asian markets actually had their eighth straight day of losses um, last night. So some impacts here, but that $1.3 trillion is certainly seeming to help um, inspire um, U.S. markets higher. Now, of course, part of this um, rally this morning. Right now, Dow futures are pointing to a gap up open of more than 120 points. And if we take a look at, at our trend here, we have, there's that trend, and depending on how you wanna draw that, some, some folks may wanna draw that up in here. If we take a look at what's going on here, we had really a massive reaction on Friday and quite possibly an overreaction on Friday. So that's part of this gap up. The other part um, could certainly be the fact of $1.3 trillion being injected into the market. Um, the stock markets love when freshly printed money gets injected into the economy. So our markets are reacting to that this morning. Certainly, the virus outbreak concerns continue to grow. Um, we've got new cases here in the United States, and one of the first deaths outside of China um, occurred in the Philippines this weekend. So still those concerns continue to be raised out there so much that even the G7 countries got together for a meeting to talk about um, these concerns as they continue to spread. But what else do we have going on here? Well, besides that, we have some technical analysis we need to do in these charts and take a look at what's going on here. So this morning, we're gonna get a gap up, and right now the Dow is looking to gap right up into this area right there. And if I draw that across and try to keep that as straight as I can, which I have a difficult time doing with this tool, as you can see, um, we're gapping right up into price resistance of the chart. So one of the things we have to be really careful of this morning is um, getting all worked up about this morning gap and chasing into price resistance. So watch that carefully. And let's keep in mind, we still have um, other resistance levels in this chart yet above, yet to deal with. So there's a lot of work that we're gonna have to do to get up through there in the concerns. Also, this gap up this morning is really a rebound back up toward that 50-day moving average. So now we're coming back up for a test of the 50-day. We'll want to watch that closely because any failure around that 50-day creates a pattern that we call the blue ice failure where we break down through the 50, rally back to test it as resistance, and any additional failure pushes it us back down. Now, there's an old saying out there. It's been out there forever, and I don't hold with much of these sayings because they're, you know, they never hold true all the time. But the, the saying, as the saying goes, is as, uh, I think it's as January goes, so goes the year. Let's hope that's not the case, but um, that selling um, on Friday ended up wiping out the full year of gains finishing January 
in um, the red um, as far as this year begin this year's beginning so pretty ugly day and certainly was probably painful for a lot of folks out there um, and that might have you know rushed in on this day so let's be really careful and not make that mistake again not make that mistake to rush back in um, let's focus on the price action of the charts that we're um, watching and be really careful about how we do that now other things that could factor in we have Iowa caucus just around the corner how that comes out I don't know and it could have some impacts to the market we also have a big week of earnings reports and we have a lot on the economic calendar to deal with this week so we kind of created this um, well we have a big window of potential volatility which means we could have gap up opens gap down opens complete reversals overnight as this news continues to unfold and the uncertainties that we're dealing with continue to plague the market so Think about that carefully as you plan your risk. Let's take a look at the SPY real quickly. SPY, also big ugly sell-off uh, that occurred here. Now, if I draw this up here, we rallied back and tested that price resistance for that failure that created that push down. Now, this morning, we have this rally back up that once again is pushing up into some price resistance of the chart. So you'll want to think about that and be really careful about rushing in. Now, one thing good about the SPY is that um, as of Friday, it held on to its 50 day moving average. So we'll want to be careful as we rally back up into that price resistance area if we happen to catch that failure, just a, another test of that 50 certainly would be possible. So let's watch that careful. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, as we take a look at this, this is kind of an interesting pattern where we didn't really break down terribly. As a matter of fact, we didn't break down um, um, even below uh, last Monday's low, but we certainly left left um, a pretty ugly impression here in the chart with a lower high failure that ended up as a bearish engulfing in the chart. Now, one of the things that's continuing to hold this up is uh, Microsoft's really good earnings. Um, the the really good earnings out of Amazon certainly is doing a lot to hold this up. Those big techs continuing to hang in there nice and strong. As we look at this overall trend, though, a little bit of problem here. And this morning we are once again gapping right back up into some price resistance here not near as much as in the other indexes and if we take a look at um our moving averages you can see we didn't even have a chance to uh, move down and even break into that 34 ema moving average so not much technical damage here in the chart except for that lower high in the queue so those um big tech uh, companies really doing the job of trying to lift and hold the market. It may be the area where we get that continued lift with the report of Google this afternoon, Google or Alphabet reporting this afternoon. So we'll want to keep an eye on that as another big tech reports uh, later today. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM is, is the opposite. IWM is really not looking healthy here at all right now. And IWM breaking down, as you can see, running down in this trend, breaking down through levels of support. And by the way, this support level runs all the way back over here. And as you can see, we failed at that support level here. And so, any rally back we're gapping back up this morning in here but any rally back we've got to test and, and break through these resistance levels now and of course this um, price uh, resistance level that we'll have to work on to get back up there certainly not looking too healthy here overall and so let's keep a close eye on iwm iwm and diamonds struggling the most and uh, and just keep in mind that even though IWM is one of those smaller indexes, it, it does influence an awful lot um, the market. If it's moving lower, it's going to be really hard for the other markets not to move with it. 
let's take a look at uh, the VIX. The VIX. If you guys remember, I've been talking about this for a long, long time. Um, and that opportunity that if we were to hold this downtrend or hold price support in here, that's where the real selling might begin. And that 600 point sell off would say to me that that um, is where that fear really came in. Now this morning, it um, we're getting this gap up open. So we can expect this to pull back slightly. Um, I would expect it to continue to hold above this level of price support. And if any additional fears continue to creep into the market, we could certainly see lots of opportunity for volatility. Um, let's just watch that close. If this pulls back, additional fear comes into the market. We could still see some of these areas up in here tested on the VIX. So keep that in mind. We may not be quite done with this move. We'll just want to watch that close and then these gap up opens. Just be really careful not to chase. So fear is creeping up here a little bit, which means everyone's, if you trade options, all your option prices are going up. That um, extrinsic value, the time value of your options increasing. So just be really careful about how you approach the market here. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And this is the one that gives us probably the most hope for today. And just showing us that we are down here in this oversold area where we, I call it the bullish reversal zone. We're down here in this area. Now, obviously we still have an opportunity. We could go a little bit lower. But this morning we're experiencing that gap back up and that gap up could move us back up into this area. Now, keep in mind, I mentioned this last week that I was really worried about that big move back up on that one day on Thursday and said, watch this. Let's hope we don't get that failure like we see. Oftentimes we get that big knee jerk reaction back up and then we flip and turn all the way back down that's it that ended up being the case here and kind of a concern but as you can see um, this move back up this morning is probably going to relieve some of that pressure uh, to the upside keep in mind that anytime we relieve that pressure to an upside move that opens the door for more selling pressure if um, other concerns start to roll into the market. So always be careful chasing into price resistance um, in your charts um, in that scenario. But the, the good news is, is that we are down here in that bearish reversal or bullish reversal zone and perhaps a little bit of lift, a little bit of relaxation uh, coming into that selling, which is a good thing for us right now. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, we have a few things to kind of keep in mind for this morning. Here at 945, we have the PMI manufacturing. The biggest one of the day is the ISM number. We're going to want to focus on that. Now, I'm not expecting any major changes here in this. Uh, uh, surprise numbers, of course, can affect the market, but I'm not expecting any major changes here uh, according to consensus uh, levels. And as you can see, construction spending. Now, one of the things we'll want to keep uh, in mind is we have that big employment situation number coming in on Friday. If it weren't for all the earnings reports and things like that, a lot of times the market gets very stale and stagnant as we wait for that big number. It, it's entirely possible the closer and closer we get to that, we get a little bit stale and stagnant. So kind of keep that in mind as you're planning out your week and thinking about how you might approach um, some of these things um, going into a really busy week. Um, let's take a look at our earnings now. On our, on our earnings today, we only have about 65 companies reporting earnings, but boy, that really ramps up. Uh, Tuesday, according to my economic or earnings calendar right now, and the, these numbers always change a little bit, we have over 150 tomorrow, over 160. 60 on Wednesday, we have over 200 reports on Thursday. So as we continue to ramp up with all these earnings reports, lots of potential volatility could come into play um, on the market. But let's take a look at some of the stocks that we'll be reporting today. ACM, whoops, 
ACM will be reporting today. It looks like they have already reported. They're gapping down just slightly this morning. HIG, HIG is reporting today. They're um, certainly nothing there yet. You can see um, bid ask spread. By the way, if um, here in TC2000, um, TC2000 has the opportunity to show us the, um, the bid ask spread in the pre market, and you can see just really wide here this little red triangle um, showing us that bid ask spread. So, kind of separate it out. What that probably means is the market makers are preparing for uh, some kind of situation here on that bid ask spread. Um, and not exactly sure where it's going to be. So they're just watching that real close and spreading it out um, as they wait for that report. We have HP, HP reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Old Leg Mason is going to be reporting. Oh, excuse me, Leg Pratt, Platt. They are reporting uh, today. Um, NP whoops, NXPI is reporting today. Um, on Semiconductor is reporting. We'll have SYY. These are just some of the notables today. There's certainly a lot more than these, but just some of the notables to be uh, paying attention to. VVV is reporting today. And then the big, the big earnings report um, at the end of the day. Alphabet, whoops. Alphabet will be reporting after the bell today. Of course, one of those giant techs that can certainly move the market and we'll want to pay attention. It certainly move the NASDAQ composite. So we'll want to watch those close. So with that, um, hey everyone, if this is the first time you've seen this video, these videos, um, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. The purpose of these videos are not to predict anything. They're just really to look at the technicals of the charts, to kind of take a look at the things that may be affecting the market for today and give you a better sense of how you might want to approach the market for the day. That little bit of calm instead, you know, in, in that great big pool of hype and everything that happens on a market opening. If you find that helpful, please do me a favor also and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank Thank you everyone who does that you guys are truly truly awesome so with that let's take a look at a couple stocks that could be setting up now i'm going to i'm going to point these out and just say really be careful because of the volatility that this market is is experiencing but um and please keep in mind that none of these stocks are uh, that i'm going to show you here are a recommendation to buy or sell any security so keep that in mind um no recommendations here on these stocks but things that you might want to be putting on your list and taking uh, a look at uh J and J. Now, J and J, even though it pulled back last week um, on Friday when well, the market fell 600 points, that's really not a, a terribly negative reaction here on J and J. J and J having broken out to these fresh new highs, holding into that trend still, holding above that support, I would put that on my list and keep an eye on it. Any pop back up in here could send that J and J higher. And this is one of those. Um, stocks that have a good dividend yield it's one of those places where people might go for a little bit of protection so keep an eye on j and j another one you might want to keep an eye on here is monster now monster tried on friday to get a lift out of here tried to pump up but boy as the market sold off it pulled back let's notice that j uh, monster is running right along this trend it's holding above some price support levels. And if I pull this back, this is a nice price support level that we're trying to hold. Um, this morning, it's looking like it has a little tiny bit of bullishness coming into it. So keep an eye on Monster. Monster trying to perk up, looking pretty decent here. And maybe one to pay attention to. CRWD is another one that I think we should be keeping our eyes on. Holding up in this trend, breaking through price resistance here in the chart. You can see on Friday it tried to pop on through there and I had suggested in the in the Friday morning video to be careful not to chase that uh, now if this rests out toward this area out toward that trend then we have that really nice opportunity for a low risk entry into the trade CRWD 
uh, might be worth keeping an eye on. Um, XLP. XLP has been kind of interesting. The consumer staples, big whips back and forth in consumer staples. Now, consumer staples is a place that folks may go to when the market is a little bit nervous. This gap up this morning, we may be recovering some of that and holding right above this level of support. We want to watch that hold in here. If that can hang on in here, maybe take a little rest. We spill off some of this volatility. Uh, the stocks that make up XLP or XLP itself, the ETF, could maybe see some more upside. And again, it's one of those places where nervous traders go during um, complex or challenging markets. They look for some of those dividend payers and look for something that can give them just a little bit of relief to the volatility. So um, lots of stocks saw ugly, ugly sell-offs. Now, a lot of these may bounce back quickly today but one of the things I want to point out the only reason I'm showing you this in ABT I was watching ABT for that potential if it held in this trend held in here and went on up but that's not what occurred here and the thing that I want to point out is even though you might be really liking ABT and think this uh, could bounce back substantially one of the things we must do every time we look at a chart, we don't want to get caught up in the emotion of saying, oh my gosh, I'm missing out. We want to focus here on what the price action is telling us and realizing that any bounce back in here could create a sell-off in, in a stock like ABT or any stock when we bounce back up to those resistance levels. So make sure you do that really nice uh, focused evaluation on that price action that you're not chasing in to a trade that will be bouncing right into the resistance that could immediately get punished. Think about that as you plan your trade forward. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great, great results in your trading. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care, everyone. Have an awesome, awesome day.